Welcome to The Boiling Point. I've got Steven Taylor. You know this face, I know, but uh, Director of Rental Division. And we are in Ware Boiler University again, and we are going to be talking about the deaerator. This is an industrial steam deaerator. Thought I'd talk to Steven a little bit about what a deaerator does. I know we've shot some episodes before, but I think it's just good to kind of go over again, but specifically this one, um, and talk a little bit uh, in, in depth of it. So, what does a deaerator do? Um, takes the oxygen out of the water. Uh, we've got soft water coming in. Anytime you have soft water, it's real high in oxygen concentration. If you put that in the boiler, you'll destroy the, the boiler, eat the tubes up, so on. So the deaerator does exactly what it says. It deaerates the water, gets the, the oxygen out of the water. That's vented outside, so you have 99%, whatever it is, pure water going in, so you don't have to get rid of that oxygen to keep that corrosion out of the boiler and out of the piping. Now it sounds simple to say, but yeah. what is, what's it actually doing to get the oxygen out? What How it's doing, it's actually called stripping. Uh, you have steam coming in, um, and that is shooting through the makeup water, and that breaks those oxygen molecules up, kicks them out to the top, and then there's a vent that goes outside, so it's continuously venting to the atmosphere all the time. And mm. there's a valve up on top up there, it's a three quarter inch valve on this particular one. The gate in that valve has a hole drilled in it, sized for this tank that allows that oxygen vapors to go out all the time, continuously emitting those, those vapors, get them out of, the, out of the water. So obviously pressurized tank. Run between five and seven PSI continually. Mm -hmm. uh, control valve up there that, that controls that, got a sensor on there. So we keep that pressure on that DA tank and that runs about 225, 227 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's, that's what we run all the time. So taking oxygen out of the water, but also preheating the water, so for, preheating the, the water for the boiler. For the boiler. And that keeps from shocking the boiler and also reduces the load on the boiler itself. The higher you can get that temperature going into the boiler, the less the water has to work to take that temperature from whatever you input it to the outlet temperature, which is directly correlated to the pressure. So it, it just reduces the load on the boiler as well. So the temperatures, what are, what are we talking about in the deaerator? 225 to 227. Okay, is that typical amongst whatever pressure boiler that you've got? It doesn't matter, I mean, what's... It really doesn't matter. There are some systems that run real high pressure and high temperature, high pressure boilers, but most of the time, the boilers are designed for 225 to 227. Okay, so being a tank and obviously um, have some water in it, uh, we, obviously, we need to find out um, what our levels are. How does, the, how does this tank work? We've got um, a DP transmitter, differential pressure transmitter, so we're, we're checking the, the pressure from the bottom of the tank, pressure from the top of the tank, taking that differential pressure through this transmitter, and that's sending the signal to this control valve to tell us, okay, where we want to keep our water level, and this one we keep it you know, just about the center of the, of the tank all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's what controls that. It's, it's programmed when it's set up. Once it's set up, you leave it alone, let it take care of itself. Do we have some alarms as well that happen? We do. We have a, a, a high level alarm. Something goes haywire and we're getting too much, too much, the water level is getting too high in the tank and it may start overflowing. So we have mm -hmm. a high level alarm only. And that just sounds an alarm, let you know, hey, there's a problem, go look at it. Same thing on the low side. We have mm -hmm. a low water alarm that tells you, hey, somebody shut a valve off, your water softener stopped up, whatever it is, you're not putting water into the tank anymore. You're about to run out of water, which is going to cause the water to go down low water alarm. And then on this particular one, we do this on most of our systems to protect the pumps. We have a low water cutoff. So your alarm is going to go off here. Mm. If nobody pays any attention to it and that thing continues to fall, you start sucking air, you're going to burn your pumps up. So we okay. put a low water shut off on there that shuts the pump off. You've already got an alarm going. That's all we can do to tell you, hey, you need to pay attention to what's going on. But we shut the pumps off so you don't burn your pumps up running without water. So speaking of pumps, I mean, we have two here. So what's the, how, do they, how do they work? We have 100% redundancy. So we run only one pump at a time. And if something happens to go on, because this is the, realistically, it's the only moving part on the deaerator tank. Mm -hmm. So if something's going to fail, it's going to be a motor, a bearing, a seal, a pump, something. So we have 100% redundancy. So if one pump fails, we don't shut the entire steam, steam system down. We just valve it out start the second pump up and then do whatever maintenance we have to to get that pump back up and reliable. One of the words that we hate to hear, um, I know on our rental side or any projects that we're doing, is cavitation. Oh, I know we hate it's cavitation. What, what is cavitation? I think everybody would like to hear that. Cavitation is where the <clears throat> pump 
it's not getting enough supply of water to it, mm -hmm. so it actually pulls the water apart. And when it does that on the deaerator, it causes, it actually creates steam in the pump and that eats the pump up. It just literally, and it's what it sounds like, it's really easy to, to identify. If you walk into it and it sounds like it's pumping rocks, it's not, it's cavitating in the pump itself. It grinds and makes noise. You'll think for sure it's pumping solids through there. It's not, that's those uh, steam molecules exploding in that pump. And when it's doing that, it's just eating the inside of that pump completely apart. Wow. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Um, obviously a very important part in the boiler room. Absolutely. Um, I know it's very important on the, on the rental side. Um, this is a pretty cool uh, system in that we actually have viewing ports to, that we can actually see this. We can show our students um, and you'll see some pictures I'm sure that Tyler will put in the, in the video. Well, we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today, talking a little bit about the deaerator and how it actually works. Now remember, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel and share a video. Steven, get out of there. <laughs>